Hi everybody, it's a lovely sunny day. I had a package today. This was a, a nice present from a very dear friend and also another fellow YouTuber. And uh, what it was, I got a nice um, a nice card here. It says thank you. There we go. One for you and one for Paul. Thank you for a year of videos, Mark. That is so kind. And uh, he got me a nice teddy. Look at that, a beanbag teddy. He's cute. It's going to be sitting on my desk all the time from now on. There. And Paul got one too. So that is on Paul's desk. He can see that all the time. So guys, do me a favor and go in and follow Mark King. That's his YouTube there. And uh, he's a great guy. He's very, very nice to listen to. He's talking very, very good. He's like a... Um, well, he's a perfect speaker. Uh, he just tell, tell, tell things so nicely. And he really boosts up one's confidence. And uh, he's going through a transformation and weight loss at the moment. So go and follow him. And uh, I'll put the link right there. So you can just click there. And you'll go to his channel and subscribe to him. Also, I will put it down in the description below. But thank you ever so much, Mark. It's so nice of you. It means a lot to me. And uh, also, Paul was pleased to get a little teddy bear. Uh, it was just so nice. And um, yeah, there will be something on the way back to you soon, but you forgot to give me your address. Tomorrow morning I got a meeting at the job centre. I need to go and um, have a word with them what we're going to do in the future about money and such. Which is a little bit, but uh, I got to do it. And uh, there will probably be some women sitting out there. So what do you plan to do about work? Are you planning for work? Have you found anything yet? Is there anything maybe in an area you haven't searched before? Maybe you should try and search in and blah, 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 like that. And uh, yeah, I am searching different places. I am searching in areas where I normally don't want to work. Um, but I'm just trying. So it is just a bit crazy. Just going to do a bit of shopping. Not shopping really, just we fancy some sweet stuff. So we might go get a bit of chocolate or something like that. Um, as I talked to you about yesterday, I'm sure we have ghosts here. You have the same idea, aren't you, Paul? Yes. Because uh, he had a strange experience recently. Um, he went, went to bed and he put the radiator on on a certain heat. And uh, he suddenly woke up very warm. And then he came out and saw the radiator was on full. Which uh, he hasn't put it to. And he put it down again. And then about half an hour, an hour later, the same happened again. He woke up again, sweaty and all that. And the radiator was full on. So that was a bit strange. This is a silly little thing of trying to supposed to heat it up. That is why we want that pill with Brennan. We want it to sit in that corner. Because we've got a chimney right there. So what they could do, just connect it into there and just made some heating go up all the way up through some pipe and guide it out through here. That's what we hope to do. But I need to put the heating on here now. I can show you what you do. I need to do this. Plug the cable in like that. Now the cable is on. It's 16 degrees in here, guys. 16 degrees, not Fahrenheit. So it's quite cool and go and double leg up here because we haven't got the remote for it so we can't put the temperature up the highest it will go is about 20 degrees which is still not very warm and the whole way out here gets so cold anyway it's a beautiful afternoon the sun is out and everything it's windy and it's getting cold it is autumn but it is nice here it's about time now that i have to go to bed but i want to shower first i always have a shower before i go to bed and um, so i'm just probably in the living room i can't see anything but uh, where's the light? Where's the light? Is that light? Oh, it probably was on. Where's the switch? Where is it? It's one of those switches you have to step on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to put some more light on in here because, as I mentioned, I'm sure there's something around here. So I brought my camera foot down. I'm going to leave the camera right here in the windowsill and... Uh, and face it out towards the living room and uh, maybe we'll catch something while I have a shower so you guys can keep an eye for me. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So let me just put the camera in the foot and find a nice position. Oop. Are you right there? And then just find a good place to put it where we got a nice view of the living room. Maybe I should just turn this around a bit. Let's see. A bit further over here. I think that'll be better. Can we see something now? Ow! My arm, that hurt. Alright guys, I'm going to have a shower now, but I'm going to leave... I'm just moving this away. I'm going to leave the camera on. 
and uh, hopefully the map will be showing something up of, I don't know, it's a bit silly this year, but I'm going to try it, because I've seen other people do it and they actually got some footage. But um, as I mentioned, we think we have a ghost living with us, and uh, both Paul and I had had more experience recently, so I'm just trying to do a test and put up uh, the camera and recording down towards here, through the door, and maybe a little bit of the living room. I don't know how much you can see, but I hope you can see enough. So uh, I'll go to the shower now and um, leave the camera rolling, and then maybe maybe I'll get something. We never know. All right, see you after the shower. Sorry guys, I forgot something. All the other people who do this, they normally put the lights on the camera, so why haven't I done that? That's it. And I think that's... Hope oh, that's better. Alright, um, it's another camera sound, so if there's anything going to fly in front, maybe you'll see it. But, um, yeah. Alright, I'll go to my shower now, and I'll... Uh, I don't know how long I have to leave this recording, uh, but it'll take me about half an hour to have a shower. I shower for a long time. So, um, I'll see you after the shower. So keep a good eye for me. <laughs> Sorry guys, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I hope you didn't get too scared or anything. <laughs> um, but it was just... <laughs> so many people done this on camera, so I thought I'd have a go as well. Especially now where we actually do think there is something around here. <laughs> but no, now I am going out to have my shower. I can't see anything. So um, I'm going out to have my shower now. Just close the door up a little bit here. And um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I am very sorry. <laughs> I thought it could be a great idea, and I think it was. Oh, and don't say this, but I am thinking about something um, like a surprise for Christmas for Paul. Both Paul and I, I think it is. We'll have to be very careful about letting you guys know um, what it is. If you want to know, write me a message, ask me what it is, and I can write it to you then. But I'm not going to say anything on the... Sorry, I got the hiccups. On the vlog here, because... I don't want Paul to find out. Um, it's supposed to be a Christmas surprise. It'll happen before Christmas. Uh, it'll be... It'll be before Christmas, definitely. I'll have my shower now, and uh, tomorrow I got my dermatologist. Plus, I got to go to the work job centre for a meeting. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. <sighs> Alright guys, I will um, leave you now, and, uh, I'll have and I'll go to bed when I have my shower. So, uh, see you tomorrow.